So I'm Cheryl Thorne. I'm the collections manager for the humanities department at the New Brunswick Museum. I'm just going to quickly apologize. I kind of woke up with a cold this morning, so I don't feel 100%. So we'll try to get through this so we don't eat too much lunchtime anyway. And I'm Rainy Jalil, I'm a curatorial assistant. I just started last summer, so I'm still pretty new, but I'm excited to be able to be a part of the work because it's a lot for me to learn, so it's been good. So we both work at our collections and research uh, facility, which is pictured here. Uh, it's located on Douglas Avenue in St. John, New Brunswick. The building houses most of our collections with the exception of some oversized items that are located in some other off-site facilities. Um, the site uh, acted as our exhibition space, um, as well as collections until 1996, when our exhibit, excuse me, our exhibitions were moved across town to Market Square. Um, this is also our home of our archives and research library, which still remains at Douglas Avenue and is open to the public. So um, the NBM is Canada's oldest continuing museum in Canada, um, in the oldest incorporated city, St. John. And it officially became the Provincial Museum in 1929, but it goes back to 1842 with Gesner when he started his Museum of Natural History. And in our peak season, um, we would have about 75 staff, and that's that includes um, lots of different types of employees, civil servants, contract employees, interns, students, and then permanent staff and casual, and then about 25 volunteers and research associates. So our collections are broken down into three main departments. We have natural science, uh, humanities, archives and research library. We have approximately 113,000 artifacts in our humanities collection. Um, if you counted every bone, every plant, or rock in the natural history collection, it would be over a million specimens. Um, if you were to count every book and every piece of paper in the archives, we're looking at another half million objects. Uh, a few of our collection highlights include um, the oldest watercraft in the province, which was dated to the 1500s. We have a beautiful wedding dress dating to the 1850s that we actually had a reproduction made so that we could teach people about all the undergarments that go with it. It's called a cutaway dress, so it's actually quite popular on some of our uh, collections tours. Um, we also uh, mentioned about something in the archives. Uh, we have uh, an honor roll for um, a group of black soldiers, which is quite rare to, to find in our archives. See it a bit further. That's the note. So then we have our display areas over at Market Square, as Cheryl said. So. Um, this image is just in the fine art gallery. We have a few permanent exhibits. Um, another one is the, the whale gallery that's been there since it opened, right? Very popular yeah. for facility mm -hmm. rentals. Mm -hmm. um, and decorative arts gallery as well as permanent. And then there's four temporary exhibit areas for in-house things, but for traveling exhibits and just different things that come along. <laughs> So this is where you'll find our reward storage area. Um, we actually have um, collections spread over five floors in our building. So this is actually um, an addition to our 1930s building that was um, built in the 1970s. So although the climate control is not great, it's better than other parts of the building. So we do have some sensitive items housed in that section. So this is our before reorganization. Um, so we have a combination of shelving, the gray are some wire racks, um, all of the uh, oranges, 
furniture, so you'll see mm -hmm. that To retrieve or catalog. Some things are on pallets, but you can't even get the proper lifted to move the pallets. So you definitely want to get things up on um, pallets with rolling capacity. Um, this three section here uh, actually is a set of 11 drawings that were um, preparatory drawings for a mural project. They're nine by nine. Initially, they were all tightly rolled on one roll. We had some extensive conservation treatment done. So now the footprint has, um, is now doubled by 10 because each one has its own roll. So a really important thing we want to do is get that up on a wall rack and up off the floor. shelving um, our toys and games, which uh, is okay for quick visual, but we really like to get these, these things off and protect them from, from light and security. some of our dolls in collection. Some of them have little padded pillows. Again, we'd like to get those things in boxes. We've got a few items there on the floor, hanging items on the wall. We have some serious lighting issues mm -hmm. in our storage areas, so we'd like to address that. And those are the and drawings. those are the rolled drawings there. that we want to get up on the wall. Hopefully put them up on the wall. A unit in the middle that's surrounded and totally inaccessible. So again, this is just showing some of our furniture that is completely unreachable in the back corner. Okay, and then this is our self-evaluation. So. Um, we're up, we're not doing too bad for three categories, um, but I mean, there are still a lot of things that need work. Um, our worst score was the building and space um, down at the bottom, but we're going to work on all of this. So some of our main issues in collection, um, security, because it is a walkthrough to uh, lower floors. We also had that exit there, which is actually our um, accessible exit. Um, so we have things with no protection. Again, with the old materials that was mentioned earlier, we also have degrading plastic, degrading foam that we want to replace. Uh, we do have a good number of unaccessioned items and that, um, relates to how the items came into the collection because at one point there was something called the Children's Museum and things were brought in for children to play with so they weren't necessarily accessioned. That's some of the old materials there. Like some of the plastic there is deteriorating really badly and old foam and things that just shouldn't be used on the artifacts. Hmm. That's actually a double bank of shelves, so things are not easily retrieved. Some of the main issues for the building, we have no fire suppression, we have leaky pipes, we have the structural integrity of the roof. Um, 
the limited climate control and the accessible entrance. It has people coming and going in a storage area. And the loading bay is right there, so we get a lot of bad weather. <laughs> um, so, and it's, I mean, it's that door there is right where the collection is. So we've got temperature so much fluctuations. Temperature, yeah. This door actually sometimes has a nice layer of frost on it <laughs> in the winter time. Those are the stairs that show going to the upper collections and the lower collections rooms. There's a leaky uh, HVAC unit there, so you see some plastic that's a bit of a barrier from collections. So here, um, a lot of the aisles that we have in this section of the most of the toys and games right here, the aisles are really narrow, so we can't really get ladders down there. That's one of the things we're hoping to correct. We want to widen our aisles. Um, and so it's just difficult access to, to some of those um, shelving units, but also really poor lighting in some areas. Um, so that makes it difficult. You can see there, the lighting's very spotty. So some of our main issues for management, we have a relatively small staff for the large collection, as most museums, lack of resources, and multiple sites. So some of our priorities here, um, we really just need to completely reorganize the floor space. Um, floor space. The, large drawings, if we could get those up on the wall, that would, that would give us a lot more space there because they take up so much real estate. Um, and then rearranging the furniture into accessible rows because right now there's, it's, it's just all in caged. I mean, you can't, you can't get to the pieces of furniture in the middle. So, and also hopefully getting a lot of it onto rolling pallets, which would be really nice. Um, and just rearranging that shelving unit that was in the middle against the wall. It just would make more sense that way. And the other big thing is we really want to box a lot of the artifacts because of you know, the lack of climate control, the dust that we get from the vents. I mean, a lot of these things that are open need to be boxed because they're so vulnerable. <clears throat> and then also just redoing the shelf units that we currently have to maximize a little bit. So this is just a quick look at a proposed um, having the furniture on the rolling pallets in the center, uh, completely uh, reorganizing the shelving so that we can accommodate the maximum amount of boxes, and uh, moving our oversized furniture rack against the wall and making it more accessible. And that's it. Thank you.